Hi, YouTubers. I am back to tell you what I learned, how I learned it, and what I did throughout my entire second year, my 2 year. I have been gone. Life happened to me. I don't want to revisit it. I'm just going to let that go. Um, just so you know, uh, life pretty much crapped on me a little bit my second year. Um, you know how they make law school so difficult, and it's difficult, and it, it'll it'll be, you know hard and hopefully you have unaltered three years no um I did not but I made it through so you can too so that's my first thing to definitely tell you even though I've been gone um people have still subscribed to me so I appreciate your subscriptions and I thank you for that um if you have also commenting to me so if you have um anything that I'm talking about um, that you want to elaborate on or you have questions, please let me know. Um, please have listened to my other videos because some of those questions I might have answered. Um, but I will no doubt feel, you know, have no problem with um, talking about it. So one thing that I noticed in my videos is they're a little too long for me, for my liking anyway. Um, so I'm going to try to cut these down. I've got quite a few videos to do because I'm so behind. So I'm going to try to start it now. So the last conversation that I had, um, the last YouTube video that I did was summer 2013. My entire second year, I was gone. I did not do any videos. I have a horrible memory, but lucky for you, law school is kind of hard to forget. So um, let's just go back to my summer of 2013. That was the end of my first year done at law school. So you might want to go check out that video. I took two courses, family law and taxation. So um, some things that you need to know that I'm noticing that my classmates didn't do and would be really beneficial for you. These are the rules for the state that I am in, the ones that I'm about to say. I don't know the rules for the state that you're in, but I'm just saying you might want to check up on some of this stuff. So... Um, I did a character and fitness test. Now, what that is, is you will have to submit things like um, your birth certificate, every job you've ever had for 10 years. For some of us, that's every job you've ever had. Um, for the last 10 years, every place you've ever lived, for you people who are military and moved around, you might want to know where that is. Um, for jobs, you can go someplace like the Social Security Administration to find that out if you don't remember them all. You want to make sure that you are very truthful on this and you do not um, um, skate on, you know, the the answers because, you know, you don't want them to take it as untruthful. So this, the character and fitness is like your beginning portion to applying to the bar. Um, the reason why you want to go ahead and get it done your first year after your first year is if you can get it done by, I think it's June or July, I can't remember, um, 30th, then um, you lock in a certain price and it's, and you, I think it's, you get a discount. It's like a discount of $200 if you get it done. It's not a lot to do to be saving $200. So if you are a 1L, I am so sorry this is late, but if you are starting this fall, Try to get that done. I know it'll be busy with school, but I got mine done when school let out. I did the character and fitness. It didn't take that long. I have not had so much as a speeding ticket that much. Um, maybe one. Um, so it didn't take them that long to check my character and basically see, should we admit you to the bar? So that it's, it's the beginning portion of being admitted to the bar. Do you, um, they would check different things like all your supervisors, what kind of person you are. Did you lie? Did you steal? Did you get fired for cheating? Different things like that. Um, so that's the character and fitness. You want to get that done because it's part of the bar. You get it out of the way. Um, everybody else is getting theirs done in their third year. Yours might take a while. And that's the last thing I want to deal with my third year when I'm trying to see if I pass the bar and that other stuff. Um, also, it saves you money. So get that done. I did the character and fitness. It's on your your uh, your um, website for like your state. So California Board of Law Examiners. Yours might be cble.org. Um, I don't know what yours is, but you you can find that out from um, resources at school, professors. Somebody will know. Um, 
Okay, so the other thing that I did is I planned for graduation. I am a planner. I know things don't always go to plan, but they help. I am also an academic advisor, as you, as you have probably heard in some of my past videos. So I, I plan and I make sure I'm on track. So I'm going to show you something that I created for me. So since I'm such a planner, um, I created this thing. Okay. It has... The concentration, which I chose civil litigation, um, my, my program or whatever, Juris Doctorate, obviously. Um, so this part I got done. That was my first year, second, first semester, second semester, summer. This is what I've done, basically, um, trying to decide what I'm going to do. So if you can kind of look at the different semesters. Um, and the reason why I did this is because it helps me figure out, especially this is for people who are, you know, full-time, part-time, whatever. But as you've heard from my previous videos, I am part-time. I work during the day. I don't have the patience or the time to be in law school for four years. I don't want to be. Um, so I'm trying to get done as soon as possible. So I figured out that the most that I can do, based on the most that I can do per semester as a um, part-time student, the most that I can do in the summer, even with exceptions, because you're only supposed to be able to take six in the summer, but I, you know, filled out the paperwork to take seven, um, I can graduate in three and a half. A lot of my classmates are not doing that. Some of those who have chosen to graduate in three and a half within the last couple of months have to take like 17 hours and do all this crazy stuff because they didn't prepare ahead of time. So it's very important to prepare ahead of time and try to think about what you want to do. I'm not saying you're going to have all these classes down. I did this, but I had to move some classes around on account of they weren't offered that semester. But if you have um, the system that I have, you can go as a student into classes, oh, sorry, into your classes and see, um, Basically, what was offered before, um, you can kind of look at what was offered. So if you're trying to look at what's offered, what's going to be offered in fall 2015, look at what's offered in fall 2013 and fall 2014 to make sure you kind of know what's typically offered that semester. Because some courses may be every other year. That's pretty much what I did to kind of plan out my courses. Um, the biggest thing was planning out the number of hours that I had to take to graduate. So make sure you do that. Um, another thing is I designed it on my emphasis. So your first year, you pretty much get put into classes. You don't get to pick them. Um, but your second year, you know, at the end of my first year, I kind of decided, am I going to get a general JD? Because that's pretty much what people do. But now an emphasis has become something that you can do. So I want to do nonprofit, but they don't have nonprofit. So I decided to do civil litigation, mainly because if I got to take 91 credit hours, might as well get something else that I can put on my resume out of it. Also, because um, lots of people have told me that civil litigation looks awesome. Get those skills as much as you can. Um, speaking in front of people and moot court, things like that, you'll learn a little bit more about. So um, I did that. Anyway, um, because the school that I met didn't have my specific emphasis that I'd like to do, that's why I chose that. Uh, if yours has your emphasis, then I would say choose that. But it kind of gives me a well-rounded civil litigation works everywhere. Um, okay, so those were the three things that I did for the summer. Character and fitness um, for the bar, planned for graduating. Um, I looked at classes. That took a while. I like time management and planning things, so I'm a little weird like that. You may not like that, but I'm saying you need to do it because it's easier to look back on something and overly plan and be so structured where you have to make changes. Then to be like, oh, crap, if I had known that last semester, I would have took the maximum hours I could have taken. That kind of stuff. Um, and then the third thing was decide on an emphasis. So I will say I'm going to cut this video short because it's going on 10 minutes now. And um, 
my next video is pretty much going to be my first year or my first semester of my second year. That all was pretty much what I just told you was done in my summer of the end of my first year. I was thrilled. You know, I made it through. But um, got to keep going until you get that diploma, the real one. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. That's my wrap up here for the end of my first year and prepping to go into my second year. I will see you on the next video when I talk a little bit more in detail about my second year. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.